Hi there, lovely to see you all again. Today we're listening to the song uh, Trenuletul by <laughs> Zedob Si Zedub and Fratzi Advahov. Unless you couldn't tell, that was Moldova. <laughs> this is a song from Moldova in Eurovision 2022. I'm not gonna mention the name of the song or artist another time this video, uh, because that's that was terrible enough. Um, we're gonna listen to their song for Eurovision 2022 today. I've noticed that this video is over five minutes long, so um, I'm gonna just speed through the sections where they don't play any music, and uh, you'll just have to watch me sitting in silence for some sections, but I'll speed it up, so don't worry. Whatever. Let's listen to what the song they have here. Well, <laughs> the energy just right from the get-go. Constant rhythm in the vocal here. I actually think this is really engaging. <laughs> Instrumental is all over the place, but that's part of the charm, I guess. <laughs> nice other... Uh, the instrumental, the violin goes with the vocal there, melodic-wise, and rhythmically. It's quite nice. I think they need a lot of just, you know, staging potential here, because... These segments will get drawn out really easily, just listening to them. Fucking this, this little accordion as well, like it's rhythmically just really bouncy and easy to tag along to. Okay, back to the same kind of hook here. And we'll add the little soloing. It's not a lot of variation going on so far, it's just a lot of instruments and a lot of playing all together. Feels like a busking quite a lot. Alright, same chorus again. We really need a lot, a lot more variation here. Some more dynamics in the instrumental. It's charming, but you need to engage me more. Alright, we add some more with the drumming here. Picks up the energy. Comes like an instrumental hook here. It's quite, quite nice. We needed this variation. There was in desperate need of this. Of course. Yes. <clears throat> Amuzant. Unde merge? La București. Ce gări ducem? Nu. Ce te regăsesc? Îți dau șmatale. N-am înțeles. Are you gonna do this on stage as well? Da. Sfânt Bucură. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, how dramatic. <laughs> All right. Time to start playing again. Yeah. So it's this instrumental hook returning here. The violin is really just the, the focus here. I mean, you gotta kind of enjoy him as a performer. He's fantastic. We're, we're of course familiar with him from previous Eurovisions, but it's just done with such charm. This hook, though, it's becoming way too much now. It's the same thing over and over again. I need a lot more variation in that section. And the same instrumental hook once again. Yeah. I think the kind of repetitive approach that they've gone for is what drags this down. It's the same chorus again. It's the fourth time now, isn't it? And it's a good thing that you have fun, but... We need... I mean, they're obviously skillful musicians, so why not play around with it a little bit more? 
keep the drumming here at the end. <laughs> oh, we're fading it out. They're gonna keep that for the performance as well. Right. Oh, yeah. Let's listen to the song again then, right? Um, that was... Uh, yeah, we're not saying the title again, but that was Moldova. And, uh, I mean, I do think that this this is fun. It's, it's very welcoming for me to have songs like this. Uh, I'm just disappointed more than anything because I know they're capable of actually making songs that are more varied and have a lot more engagement going on. Here it's just full power and full tempo and full speed ahead throughout the whole thing. No real just variation, no dynamics being offered anywhere here. It's production wise, I mean it's it doesn't sound bad, but you know, it there's no real playfulness with the sound that they've collectively put together here. Uh it's just this group of people playing their instruments, they're really skillful at it, of course, and then just working together, having fun together but no real playfulness in terms of the arrangement or in terms of just working with dynamics and working with the instrumentation that they already have established here. It's just kind of like they had an idea of 30 seconds of music that they wanted to just put together and then they just dragged it out. And it becomes really repetitive, quite fast in all honesty. Uh, when, you re when you have to repeat the chorus four times and the chorus is like 10 seconds long, if even that, and then you follow it up every time with the same instrumental hook, there's no variation into it. It's just this violin and I think there's like a flute does the same melody. Um, you know, it's the same melody, it's the same instrumental arrangement every single time. It doesn't become refreshing at all, it just gets tiresome really quickly, I think. And that's kind of where I actually preferred their previous attempts because there's been a dynamic in these songs. This one doesn't have that and I, I'm actually really disappointed in that because this is just all out, full speed ahead, we're just having fun. Enjoy it with us if you want to, and if you don't want to, then you don't have to. That's kind of the feeling that, you, you know, I get. I'm, I'm not enjoying this as much, and it's a shame, because I really do think, like, the energy they transmit, and just the, like, presence and persona that they have, it's a, it's infectious, you know. Um, but you really need the song to kind of back up with more, with more things that you can really latch on to as a listener. I'm not feeling that here. Uh, I don't really have much to write home about here. There are, you know, sections where I just think, yeah, it's a nice approach, but you need to combine this section with the other sections and create a flow, create some, some kind of like an arrangement more than just have this section of enjoyment and just drag it out for three minutes. As I said, when listening, it sounds like a song you would uh, perform when, you, when you're busking on the street, really, uh, or when you're just having a party in the train like they are here. It's not a, a song written for being a song, it's a song written to just have fun and play together with your friends. And that's kind of the barrier where I think, you know, for me as, an, as a listener, I would enjoy this if I was there with them. But just listening to it from a distance, I'm not enjoying it. And that's where they lose the mark with me. They can, it's very, it's very easy, or it's not easy, but it's possible to make music like this enjoyable for the listener as well, incorporating them. But you just really need to have some more variation in the music. We've had upbeat songs like this before that have really worked in connecting and establishing a relationship with the audience. Here I'm not feeling that. The music is too non-engaging in a sense. It's very in your face and it really wants you to be engaged into it. But there's really nothing for me as, an, as a music listener to latch onto here. And I'm not just enjoying the whole cohesion of the song. It, it becomes a drag, and it's a shame, because I like the concept that's here. But they've missed the mark with me. Uh, but perhaps they have not missed the mark with everyone out there. That was a super transition, wasn't it? Yeah, sometimes I get them right. Um, do leave a com do leave <laughs> God, I just messed up, up completely. Do leave a comment with what you think about this song in the comment section. Yeah, English, that's the language we're speaking. I'll have to keep that in mind. Please leave a comment about what you think of this song in the comment section. I'll be looking forward to reading all about it. Uh, I hope to also see you in the next video. I'm not sure if it's... It surely has to be Montenegro next. If my alphabet uh, knowledge is any good to me. So I hope to see you in that video. Uh, other than that, have a good one until then. Uh, hope to see you in that video. Bye bye.